Hey loves, happy Sunday. First of all, I want to thank you guys for the birthday wishes. I really appreciate it. Um, God bless you all and I hope you guys all enjoy your whole year and have the best life ever and have long life and good health. Now, um, today there is a message that I'm going to release titled No Weaknesses and it's Thy Kingdom Come Part 5. But before I release that message, um, I would like to say a prayer. And this message will just be just this prayer alone. So I'm going to start. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercy, Lord. Thank you for your love and your covering over your people. And Lord, we ask that you continue to cover your people, Lord. Continue to cover those who seek after you, Lord. Those who have a heart towards you, Lord. Those who will come in your name, Lord, for your purpose and for your glory, Lord. Lord, we ask that you cover us in the blood of Jesus. Put a hedge of protection around us, Lord. Keep our minds sound and our hearts pure, Lord. Thank you for everything that you are doing in the earth, seen and unseen, Lord. Lord, strengthen us. Lord, strengthen us in your righteousness so that we are clear-minded and we stand for what is right in your eyes, Lord. Strengthen our bond and our relationship with you. Strengthen the cord that tethers us through to your glory, to your love, to your power, Lord, so that we walk in your ways and we do not turn left and right, Lord, but that we continue straight on the path, on the narrow path, Lord, set before us, Lord. I ask that you bless our loved ones and those who are close to us, Lord. Cover them in your protection and your your sovereignty lord in your cover us so that we are able to cover them lord i pray a prayer for your anointing oil to flow over those that you have called to your glory and to your throne lord to to be witnesses of you in the earth lord i know that there are only things that you can do and no man can do lord so we sit and we ask and we pray that you work your miracles within us and around us lord on the behalf of your kingdom lord thank you for everything that you do lord Thank you, Lord. Thank you for everything. And Lord, sometimes I just don't know what to pray about. But I come to bring others to a place of being able to pray to you, Lord. Lord, bless their hearts and their minds to seek you and to know that their prayers are heard. And when they seek you, they seek your righteousness, they seek your face, and they seek your power. Lord, bless their mind and their spirit to know you. And to believe in Jesus Christ, to believe that the sins of their forefathers do not carry them from generation to generation, but your righteousness is what frees them, Lord, that your gift of the Holy Spirit is what sets them free mentally and physically and spiritually, Lord. Lord, I ask that they hear from you through your Holy Spirit, Lord, through your Son, Jesus Christ, through the process of the crucifixion and the resurrection, Lord. You know, I don't like to pray too long. But I thank you, Father. I thank you so much. I thank you so much, Lord. Lord, let us continue to serve you in your righteousness, to serve your people, Lord. I pray for the downtrodden. I pray for those who are afflicted, that you send saviors their way, Lord, that you send people to bless them and to relieve and alleviate their pain and their suffering, Lord, that you send those who are equipped with your knowledge and your word to stand in the gap for those who are looking for someone to come help them, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. I, I pray that you empower those that you send, Lord, throughout their journey, Lord, and you keep them and you empower and you continue to empower them and speak to them that they may do things your way and not the ways of the world. Thank you, Lord. Thank you so much. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for everything that you're doing, Lord. I rebuke, Lord. I rebuke any type of spiritual interference that may come up against your will in the earth, Lord. I rebuke it in the name of Jesus, and I return to sender right now in the name of Jesus. I return to those who have an agenda against your righteousness in the earth. Your righteousness in the earth. I return to those who are in the spirit of the Antichrist and who has let the power of darkness overcome them, Lord. Lord, they have no power here. They have no jurisdiction here, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you so much. Lord, I ask that you do things through the, these things, through the changing of hearts and minds toward you, that no one perishes, but that they are renewed and revived in your word, Lord, that they are revived in your heart, that they turn back to you, Lord, from their sinful ways. In the name of Jesus, Lord, 
I pray that no harm comes to anyone, Lord. No physical harm. Unless, you know, that's what you gotta do. But I really don't want that, Lord. I want their hearts and their minds to be turned back to you. I pray for enemies and, and those. So this is what it means to pray for your enemies. That the ones who are operating out of an unclean spirit that they turn back to you and they receive a clean spirit that they accept Jesus Christ into their heart as their Lord and Savior or whatever they got to do to turn back to you Lord and to receive the intercession and the understanding they need to become pure at heart thank you Lord thank you for everything what else is there anything else I miss Lord Lord, cover the children, Lord, the children in the earth, Lord, cover them and keep them, Lord. Send the sanctuary to, to keep them in perfect peace and harmony so that they can grow up in, in the strength and the knowledge that you have left for them, Lord. Lord, cover them and, and protect them from any negative elements sent to destroy them, to destroy their innocence, Lord. I rebuke it in the name of Jesus, Lord. There will be no harm brought to the next generation that will sub that will subdue your glory, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you so much. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Lord, I pray for the youth and the elderly. I pray for the homelessness situation to be resolved. Lord, I pray for your kingdom come and your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Okay, so we're going to do um, Psalm 23. for protection over your people, Lord, Lord, that they have a sound mind, love, power, and a sound mind, and no fear within them, Lord, that they go forward in righteousness and in peace and in prosperity, Lord. Lord, I pray against confusion and disillusion, Lord. I pray that people are able to see beyond the veil and still hold themselves together, Lord, in your righteousness and in your power. I pray for love amongst brethren. I pray for love amongst sisters. I pray for love amongst family, Lord, that any type of breach, any type of spiritual breach that has been brought into a family, Lord, I pray against it in the name of Jesus. I pray against any breach of the spirit that has been brought against families of the earth that are sent to bless you, Lord, to bless your namesake, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you for the covering, Lord. Thank you for the power. Thank you for the peace. Thank you for the love that is power in the earth, Lord. And as we go forward, I pray that we expand upon that love through our actions and not our, just our words, through our hearts being changed and not just our words, through our own transformation and our own repentance. Thank you, Lord. Psalm 23 reads, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Lord, thank you, Lord. Thank you for everything. Thank you so much. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Lord, I pray this prayer. Oh, that's it. Okay. You heard me. <laughs> okay, so um, that's it. And then um, I'll be releasing the message for today. Thank you guys 
for everything. Blessings.